So on the site this week, we had a comparison between D two and D three teams. Actually, D D three teams, right? And where they would fit. Also, D two as well. Yeah, so too. all three divisions where they, compared where they, to how they would finish. How they would finish. Uh, not surprisingly, Adam State looks pretty strong yeah. <laughs> for the men. Uh, but individually, of anybody in this race, men or women, who had the highest potential to finish? High up there in the men in, yeah. the, in the division one race. Men yeah, races. so we're always like, who, who we're looking at D two results and we see their track times and we see them dominating D two cross country. And we're like, wow, I, like would these guys be like all Americans in division one? <laughs> and uh, it's it's always tough to predict. But one guy I don't think is tough to predict. Sydney get a boudet of Adam State. He's got a thirteen twenty nine five k best. So that's right up there with like. I'm not listen. I'm not saying he's Grant Fisher, but that's right up there with like Grant Fisher's PRs. You gotta like Grant wow, Fisher. And love the way Grant specifically Fisher. the the D one race went this year, obviously Gitabude won't be racing there, so it doesn't matter. But kind of tactical. Everyone was together that that last two K or so, all the top 10 ish guys, and then it came down to a furious last four hundred or so. Gitabude, he's got. I think he's run about like a four hundred one mile. Again, he's got that thirteen twenty nine speed, and he's been top. Top ten in in D two cross before I, I like get a boot and his thirteen twenty nine speed to be maybe a top twenty guy in Division one again this is all hypothetical this will never happen so yeah. <laughs> I like the pick I like the thirteen twenty nine but yeah. terrible analysis on your part <laughs> yeah. the answer is Zach Pan and you're talking about a guy who's finished top ten in D two cross I, yeah. give me the guy who's finished top five all three years there you go you want to talk yeah, parallels to Grant Fisher <laughs> it's that man right there Zach Pan he has a five k track title he does just like grant, grant fisher, fisher yeah. he's incredibly consistent just like grant fisher he probably has a friend named grant just possible. like grant fisher possible. he was he was second last year i think it's tough to just look at prs and extrapolate it sure um the consistency i think he'd finish the highest oh, that's a good he's, pick yeah that's a good pick jenny right, jenny oh well you save, know save us from this male dominated <laughs> yeah no worries uh hold on to your butts though i've got some super scientific analysis oh, here, we here. Go, here we go uh -oh. um so yeah, just looking at, uh, going back to Alicia Konachek, um, she's the D2 steeple record holder and the indoor mile record holder. And I thought, hmm, you know who's also a really good steepler who's also good at cross country? Alio. Oh, oh. Yeah, um, okay. So at Outdoor Nationals this year, Alicia's steeple PR would have gotten her second behind Allie. Wow. Do you know that, Link? Did you know that? I didn't know that. I did not. Yes. I didn't compare the and times. And so, so stay with me here. I know I know. we kind of went off a tangent. We're talking about track now. But <laughs> oh, that's fine. But Alio got so. sixth at mm -hmm. Cross Nationals. Therefore, by the transitive property, <laughs> this is very, this is very Alicia would have been seventh. Wow. So that's how she would have finished. Top yeah. seven. Wow. Yeah. Top yep. seven would be, would be awfully strong, considering that her best... D2 performance is 11th? Yep. Uh, but that's that right. was back in 2016. <laughs> no, you're right. And actually, you're I think it was 10th. Oh, okay. Can I'm going to check the D2 expert on his yeah. knowledge Can I here. change my pick? Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was very convincing. That was. Yeah. Lincoln. Science. 